What's up everybody? Uh, today it's Thursday and this weekend will be a special weekend because um, I will be traveling to the UK to attend an insect fair this weekend uh, at Campton Racecourse called the EHS uh, Insect Fair and I will be traveling to the UK from my home country which is the Netherlands to be attending this insect fair and meet some people from my YouTube among other things and buy livestock and make good contacts and well I guess since all of you have so much interest in what I do uh, I figured I should make a mini documentary about it so this is the introduction I would say enjoy I'm waiting for my train. Looks like my trip has begun. Let's go.
Alright guys, so this is it. I'm officially on UK soil now. Uh, I've been there before. And if I'm a moth, then this is my nectar. I'm an energy, energy drink addict by the way. But uh, some of you know this already. This runs exclusive to the UK. Uh, yeah, believe me, I'm not sponsored by an energy co drink company to say this, just some random vlogging. I mean, I don't have any other interesting things to say. Except for spewing moth facts. Alright, let's continue. I'm about to take the train to Flitwick. And there I will be meeting a friend called Andrew. I will be staying there at his place. So, waiting for the train now. So now I'm on my way to Andrew and you're probably going to see a little time skip here. Why you ask? Well, because I'm going to stay at the house of a friend who I haven't met before in real life. And um, really, I, don't, uh, I want to respect his privacy and not uh, upload videos of uh, his home on YouTube. Not everybody will appreciate it if you uh, upload videos of a random person's house on the internet. So. Uh, when I'm going to meet him and stay there uh, I'm probably not gonna film but I will tomorrow and maybe I will film his caterpillars at most or his uh, butterfly or moth livestock but uh, that's it so we're gonna time skip uh, probably until tomorrow uh, when we will be on uh, our way to the insect fair I think it's very close and how old are they now? oh it's more than three months Oh, actually, those came back with me in June. In June? So it's uh, four months. Oh, yeah. Well, that sounds normal because these things have crazy long development times. Cocoons are fascinating too. Yeah, they are. I think they're amazing. I really, really like them. That's why I started to like this family. I mean, these forms of these caterpillars, they really surprise me all the time. It's nothing like Saturnidae because you, you know what you can expect when you have them, but, oh, yeah, but these are so variable. I think they're fascinating. I think they're really, really, really fascinating. Okay, just to clarify, in the video, we are at Andrew's house. And this caterpillar is a gastroplaceus. Oh, that's nice. If only PostNL didn't decide to mail them to me after a few months. We'll get some more. Um, Alistair muhel has got lots. I'm sure we'll get some more. Right. Good stuff. <laughs> Basically, I uh, booked the equipment at the Norway Research Park. So I'm also going to pay for the analysis. And uh, I think Mark or uh, Paul, the guy who runs the equipment, will test it. And Mark will probably also take a look at the results. Okay. So I'm in the countryside here. Yeah, yeah. Hi, it's my friend Paul. I'm back. Uh, how are you? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Hello everybody on the YouTube here at the AES, it's fantastic and really good to be back. What's your name? Wait, how about you filming? It's Jamie Mitchell. Alright. Nice one. Good luck Jamie. Much, Take care bro. I will upload this, eh? Thank you very you much. You know that. Excellent. Okay, good, good. Oh, 
on. So next, I'm going to pin those other bad boys. Somewhere I've got pins in here. And then I'm going to make a label for these. Hello. Hi there. Maybe in Bitcoin either. Ah. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> I have to get rid of it now. Oh no. Bad investment. Nice uh, lobsters. Oh, there's another one. He's petting it. It's a pet lobster. Yeah. And here we have Robin, our famous Moon Moth Man. <laughs> and there's Andrew and his son. Let's film some of the most crazy people on earth. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I have to. I have to cut. I have to cut out that part. Can I? Oh yeah. Since then, no, because we just can't get in with the cigarettes and uh, get through customs for the price that. Yeah. Yeah. I want to charge, just can't do it. I want to try and send EMS, but can't, can't do it. It's all right. I mean, I got some. I mean, I get. I, I get. Did you get delayed yesterday? Uh, hmm? Did you get delayed yesterday? No, no, no. For the first time, I didn't. I'm surprised, really. These hmm. just have definitely improved. Andrew got some more stock. Of some of your stock? Andrew got some nice stuff. Oh. Over here, you can look at Michael Raisin. Yeah. Where, you, where you find them, they're really common. But where, where you don't find them, there's none. It's just like a little local area where they'll be. So we'll say record. So. Hi there, I'm, my own, I'm on my own channel. I guess I'm famous now. If you like, just introduce yourself. Yeah. I'll tell you who you are and why you're here and why you like insects. Uh, should I tag my Instagram? Yeah, sure, whatever right. you like. <laughs> My Instagram's Moth Macros and I'm here because I'm... Just, just advertise yourself, maybe yeah. some people will yes. watch your Instagram or your website. It's a promo, it's a promo, yeah. Do you want to go? Don't be shy, there's nobody looking in, in, uh, until I upload it, so... I think that's one for us. Hi, I'm Alex. Okay, can we re-record this? No, no. Hi, I'm with okay, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah. More commonly known as Emperor Muff on this channel, so nice to meet you. I'm Bart. <laughs> it's my channel, so. <laughs> Careful.
think he's a Lebeau? I think so. Well, like, that's why I put speed in. Yeah. They come in as always hard, but everyone always argues with me. They come in and it's a bit of a Alright, so funny thing about these airports is they make you walk through these enormous tunnels filled with shops like you're a hamster. So the question all of you are probably going to ask me is did I bring any live stock? The answer is yes. And I'm going to show some of it to you while I'm eating my English bacon toasted thing so to full security I've written on it that they are research samples containing dandelion and sweet gum and technically the uh, technically they are um, I've written dandelion leaf sample but um, in reality between the leaves there are caterpillars of um, the Jersey tiger moth Euplagia quadripunctaria in here we have some species from Cameroon. I've written on it leaf sample sweet gum. And from the surface it looks like sweet gum, but if you look closer, you'll notice many caterpillars. And I have like three of these containers because I really like this species. 
These boxes contain a uh, Lazio Campede from Cameroon, of which the life cycle is completely undescribed to science, For so I'm very excited to rear them. This is going to be one of the best species on my channel so far, if I succeed in raising them. Adults are extremely beautiful and it has very high scientific value. In here, we have Lobo Bunea Aceitis, um, again on sweet gum. Well, caterpillars are easy to spot in this case, but I wouldn't expect customs to look through everything anyways. So, um, some of you were probably asking, Bart, is this legal? The answer is yes. Unless they are protected species, um, it's legal to transport them through um, the European Union's borders. Um, just make sure that they are not federally protected or CITES protected animals. The reason though that customs would not be happy to find them in theory is because it's airline company policy not to allow any live animals on board. But that's airline company and that's not the law. So it's okay. Here we see a tiny caterpillar of the Jersey tiger moth. And when I get home of course I'm going to breed all of this. Um, I've brought actually many more livestock. Um, in fact, I also bought uh, cocoons of the um, Eupacard uh, silk moth, Eupacardia caleta from North America. Okay, let's see how this is. Okay, it seems to taste okay. And, um, also silk moth from Cameroon called Nudorelia dioni. And pupa of an, an emperor moth called, I have to think for a second, oh yeah, it's Embracia melanops. Now the reason I haven't brought my cocoons is because I didn't want to overdo it. Security is not going to look through a few samples, but if I'm going to uh, show up there with a bag uh, filled to the brim with insect cocoons, then they're not going to be very amused. So. All the cocoons I brought will be mailed to me from the UK, so they'll be using the UK post and I will get back home today probably and the cocoons will arrive at my place maybe uh, in two or three days time, so later this week, because well, I um, really didn't want to bother overdoing it with the security and uh, etc. Thanks for watching. This is good by the way. It's like avocado bacon cheese. Um, this is the first time I'm making a video like this. I'm not a vlogger actually. Um, it's all very new to me. Usually I just like filming insects and uh, not any aspects of me or my social life. But I've gotten so much success and so many view viewers l lately. I thought that yeah, maybe this would be night nice variation. So thank you all for watching. And um, well. Maybe I'm going to do some ne more trips next year and um, make a small compilation like this. Thank you.
so the last part of my journey it consists of walking for about 30 minutes but I don't really care about that but I would like to say thank you all for watching it was a different video from the things I usually upload on YouTube so tell me what you think about it if you liked it or not and uh, some things that you would like to see next time uh, I also would like to say I'm not I don't really consider myself a vlogger or well uh, I don't know how, what I was supposed to how am I supposed to finish my sentence but I don't really consider myself a vlogger because I think it's awkward to stare into a camera and talk uh, plus uh, my English language is not that good so it's hard for me to be like this bubbly extrovert person who can make jokes and have uh, fun uh, conversations with himself uh, while staring into a camera but um, either way I, I gave it a try because I thought the, at least the event I was attending would be interesting um, what's also notable is uh, as you can see in the video some of my viewers recognized me uh, for me that's still kind of a new experience because well of course I started off with like uh, phew, I think one or two years ago with 100 subscribers so I don't know where all of you have come from in the previous years but apparently there are more people that like moths than I thought uh, but yeah overall it was nice and uh, it was also nice to meet some of you guys so I'm, I'm also curious about your feedback what are some of the things that you would like to see next time uh, or in the next video I might st start uh, making videos like this more often um, don't worry about uh, me becoming an e-celebrity my youtube channel is focused on entomology, biology and mainly insects and Lepidoptera so um, of course anything I do and upload will be related to that but there could be trips to museums, there could be trips to insect fairs uh, interviewing researchers this and that so but it all depends on my viewership of course I mean if you want to create a good YouTube channel it's not going to it's not something that you can create in, in stand, huh, what's the word I'm looking for it's nothing you know you can create uh, spontaneously or instantly it's something you build over time and that's basically what's happening here um, so my subscribers have started growing a lot and I expect at some point we will go over 10k I'm sure that will happen in a year or two which still isn't that much but more than I ever expected and uh, I would also like to remind all of you that um, well this is the part where I'm starting to ramble about uh, also crowdfunding but here's a tip for all of you who are not aware I have a Patreon which is a crowdfunding platform and uh, of course the, the kind of things that I film and upload well they basically they adapt to uh, my user base so uh, obviously the more support I get the more I can invest in new resources and uh, do like fun trips to fun places but uh, I like to say yeah it has been successful uh, last for the last months so that's a good thing it's improving and uh, well I don't know what I'm supposed to say right now I mean, let's take a look at this scenery here we're in the Netherlands this is quite agricultural place uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to tell you all of you my address because well I'm sure some of my followers are crazy people maybe just as crazy as I am but uh, I live in the Netherlands close to a city called Tiel which is spelled T-H-I-L uh, or T-E-A-L in my language so it's, it's not the city where I live but like seven kilometers uh, in the vicinity of that so um, yeah
This is the part where I have to walk down a busy road with traffic, but I thought it may be a good idea still to tell you some of my upcoming projects because um, first of all I'm working on a thing that I call Moth Cycles because I've taken a look at my YouTube channel and I film like a lot of these short clips which capture, uh, capture a fleeting moment in time like a new moth uh, has emerged or the caterpillars that I am currently raising but I thought what would be fun is to capture the complete life cycle of such an insect instead of just filming it as it is in the moment because that's something I I currently do a lot like I have something I want to show it uh, off right now and I want to upload it right now so uh, I have especially uh, themed videos called moth cycles and in these videos I will breed moths like I usually do of course but the difference is I'm going to film all the instars including the pupa and the adults and how, how I reproduce them in one single video and uh, I'm going to start doing this with a few common species because well the most of the people who will be viewing this will be people that are either interested in their biology or in breeding them themselves and seeing how I breed them and how I take care of these uh, species so it will basically uh, be uh, both a care sheet video and a full documentation uh, of uh, the life cycle of these kind of insects but um, So the reason I'm starting to uh, choose common species to do this is because of course they draw the most interest and a few that come to mind are the death head hawk moth Agarontia atropos and uh, Rothschildia silk moth uh, Rothschildia lebo which are some of the example species I will start with and I will basically film them uh, from the moment I receive them as eggs and how I incubate the eggs and how I take care of every insert and how they grow into moths. Now these videos take a long time to make because uh, obviously I have to film a lot but uh, there's also a chance of my breeding uh, actually failing because believe me or not behind the scenes I kill a lot of insects by accident. You know uh, if you want to breed insects also a lot of luck is involved and the chance of failure is always there, no matter how good uh, you claim yourself to be. Uh, while I was at the insect fair, there was a guy that told me, never listen to the guys who tell you they are breeding experts, because there's no such thing as an expert. It doesn't matter for how many years you've done this. Uh, tomorrow, even if you've been breeding for 60 years, Tomorrow there could be a guy who is a beginner who's trying to raise a species that uh, you've always filled with and he may succeed where you failed because there's a lot of trial and error involved and also a lot of luck really. So there's a chance of the whole experiment failing along the way and these lifetime cycles can take a long time from egg to adult. Some of the cocoons even over winter which means I will be filming them for half a year even in winter and the way how I overwinter them and I will only upload the video once I have the complete footage of their life cycle so I'm telling you right now they are in development but uh, from the moment I will be uploading them it's probably next season for that very reason because I started the life cycles of these moths right now I'm filming them behind the scenes but the actual upload will uh, probably happen at least in January, February, I don't know. Maybe I can find some death head hog moth eggs, that would be nice. I'm looking for its species because that's a species that's really fast uh, to reproduce in captivity. I can breed them in like three months time, but uh, most of them will take more time. I'm sorry. I'm also working on a new website which uh, documents all the insect species that I have encountered and photographed before. This is different from my other website because that website is focused on breeding and uh, uploading care sheets but this will be about moths in the wild. It will be like a database. I'm also working on a website that's about all the hog moths found in the Netherlands uh, called um, Pelsaard Vlinders van Nederland 
aka the Hulk Moss of the Netherlands. And this, unfortunately, this website will be in my native language, but it will help people from my country idea this kind of species and, uh, you know, get them down to species level if they're not familiar with these species. Uh, very easy to identify. So that's two websites coming up. Special videos. This is also a special video if you haven't noticed. I'm uh, start, I'm going maybe I'm going to travel a little bit more, uh, film or meet some of my viewers. Main problem is traveling is expensive, but I'll manage. Um, maybe in the future, I'm thinking of doing a collection trip in uh, South America, or French Guiana, to collect various species of moths and. Uh, see how a collector works and film all of it in a documentary style and uh, donate all these moths to a museum and uh, maybe we can even find new species in there who knows so uh, I'm gonna go head home now this is goodbye it was nice to meet some of you viewers some of them uh, I forgot to film you I'm sorry but uh, there's footage of some of you in here I think this is the first time I've actually filmed some of my viewers who are not personal friends or anything so that's a nice change thanks for watching and until next time